Hey everyone, this is Russ with Insane Custom Stencils. Today we're going to do a copperhead lure design. Uh, here I've listed your light base mix. Uh, also do the medium base mix and the dark base mix following that. I like to pre-mix it before I get started. Uh, also during the video I will hold the bottles up to the camera and let you know how much of each or you can check back the first of the video. If you'll notice, I've already put the mesh on here. When I got this lure from my customer, uh, he's in Canada. I'm not sure what the name of this lure is. Uh, it was already base coated white and had the bill wrapped. So all I had to do is put the mesh on. Uh, I got the mesh at Walmart and the uh, laundry aisle. It was just a bag and cut it to fit. Use alligator clips. You can get them from anywhere. And here I'm showing what I'm using for the light base mix that we'll use here at first. I like to get this pre-mixed uh, because the reducer it gives it more time to break down the pigments in the paint, which makes it atomize a lot finer. And I like light passes, as everyone knows, so that's the reason I do it the way I do, to each their own. If you don't have these exact colors, get whatever you have that's close, make it work. It does not have to match mine perfectly. And here we are putting on several light layers of the light base. I'll continue to do this until I like the tone of it. I am covering the entire lure, however, I will leave the belly at a lighter color than what I do the rest of the body. From the back down, will gradually get darker. And then toward the, towards the end of the video, I'll actually darken it all some once the mesh is off. But for now, light layers, that way everything will cure well, you don't have to worry about your mesh stick into any of the paint that's too thick. I'm using around 18 PSI with this mix. You can even go lighter on your air pressure. So once we have this light base done, we'll get ready to start with the medium base which we'll use our copperhead stencil. I will be putting this on the website once the video is aired. There will be several sizes. I'll start holding the edge down. The uh, closer you have this stencil to the lure, the sharper your edge will be. If you want a softer edge, raise it up off of the lure just a little give you a softer fade from the underspray. I prefer a tighter edge on these stripes. And don't be afraid to remove the stencil if you don't like how it's placed. As you can tell, I'm still trying to debate exactly where I want it. There's no right or wrong way to do it with this stencil. Just gotta find what you like. It gives you the desired effect you're looking for. We'll finish a third stripe here by the eye, and then we'll switch to the other side, complete the same process on the other side, and then spin to the top. There's no right or wrong way to connect the top. If you'll notice right there on my stripes, they fade out at the top. You don't want a sharp edge there where you're going to blend in. Now just gradually carry it over the top. Very simple. Nothing really complicated about this. Here I've sped the video up. It is repetitive, 
so I didn't see any sense in making you guys sit through it at regular speed. This will still give you an idea of my process. And since I'm not hiding anything, I'm just speeding it up. Same as the other side. Just carry your stripes over to the opposite side. So once you have both sides completed, then we'll add a little bit of texture to the lighter base of the body. Just a little freehand texture. Uh, a bunch of it you won't see later on, but you don't know which parts you will and won't see, depending upon what you do with your design. So I like to add a little bit of character. So now we'll go in and start adding the details. You don't want to go too dark. I'm still using the medium base here, but I'm spraying lightly. So now we'll come in with the dark base. We're going to make the edge of the rings or the stripes uh, darker. Uh, it'll be a, a deep brown. And after that, we'll come in with just black, very little on the very edge of the ring. So right now we're doing the dark base. So now you'll take your dark base mix, your dark brown, and you just want to hit the edge of the rings, leaving the medium base still showing predominantly in the middle. Just want to fade dark on the edge of the ring to light in the middle of the rings. Just need to repeat this process on both sides and the top, and then we'll move on to adding a little bit of a black accent the edge of the rings. So we'll continue using our dark base here to finish our rings. I've sped this up as it is repetitive so we'll keep the video rolling. You'll still be able to see what I'm doing. You just want to watch the video as long. Do the same thing over and over. Repeat the same process on the opposite side, and then tying your tops. Now that the dark base is done, still with the dark base mix, we'll start on some spots. You can place these anywhere you want. There's no rhyme or reason, honestly. I just put them where I like them. The tighter you hold the stencil down, the sharper the edge. If 
you raise it off of the surface of the lure a little bit, you'll get a softer edge. Now we'll come in with a ten, 10 drops of reducer, 40-20, 10 drops of black, spray at low air pressure. I'm spraying at about 12 psi. You don't have to spray that low, just watch your overspray. We're only trying to do the very edge of the rings here. So I'm going to speed this up after you see me do a couple of them and repeat the same process around all the rings. This will add a lot of accent and really make it pop. So now that the black accents are done, we'll come in, remove the alligator clips, carefully remove your mesh, make certain your paint is good and cured. It doesn't have to cure for no 24 hours or anything like that, but just make sure it's not wet to the touch, otherwise you will smear this when you try to remove the mesh. Just carefully uncoil it, then we'll place it back on the helping hands vise and get ready to add a little bit more tone to the body. So now the mesh is removed, I'll put the mix that we'll be using to add tone to the body on the screen here. I'm spraying this at 18 PSI. Nice, easy layers light layers. You don't want to overdo it and flood it. You got all your hard work, you don't want to ruin it. So go easy. Start at the top, work my way down the side, leaving the belly light and the back darker. Once this Tone's been added to the lure. All we'll have to do is put the eyes on. I use JetsonLures.com eyes. John Caminas, he's an amazing artist. I use his eyes on everything I can. And I've dipped this twice in KBS clear diamond finish. Hope this helps you guys. Enjoy the videos. If you like, be sure and comment. If you got any questions, message us. Be sure and like and share.
We appreciate your business.